Hey guys, this is Josh from Twisted Tools. I want to give you some details on using the preset grids. Uh, if you'd like a basic explanation of preset grids, please have a look in the manual or check out one of the overview videos by Brent Calmer of Blue Water B VST or Matt Saliti of DubSpot. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm basically going to explain some of the details of how to use the preset grid. So this preset grid here basically allows you to store a uh, preset into one of 17 slots. I could drag with my mouse to kind of change the presets and you see this numeric indicator up here uh, changing to show you which preset uh, grid slot is currently selected. So um, if I want to edit, for example, slot number one, um, if I let go of my mouse, it snaps back to slot number zero. Now the reason for that is slot zero is kind of meant to be uh, designated as your kind of default uh, kind of preset that you could always return to. Um, so it kind of gets magnetized when you let go of your mouse and snaps back. Now if you're wanting to actually edit uh, your preset slots, you're going to want to turn on this kind of pin button here. And if you turn that on, basically it sticks to whatever slot uh, you select. So for example, I could go here to slot number one, set slot number one up to have only track number uh, eight. Slot number two could have only track number two. And slot number three, only track number three, etc., etc. And then when I could bounce I could bounce between those like so. Now, right now I'm in pin mode, so they're kind of sticking. If I want, I could turn off pin mode, snap back to slot zero, and then I could kind of drag around quickly, get some sort of fills or craziness happening, and then let go of my mouse and have it snap back to the default slot. So another kind of uh, cool little tip here is you could change the slots here by just um, dragging on the numeric indicator in the upper right-hand corner. Um, that's kind of cool for quickly changing uh, through your slots. Uh, the other thing you could do is you could copy paste these um, entire preset grids here from one scene to another. Now the scenes store the entire state of the instrument for the most part. Um, there might be a situation where you want to copy everything that you have for the track sequencer preset grid in, in scene one to the track sequencer preset grid in scene two. So to do so, what you do is you'd make sure that this button is off here. Choose copy go to scene two and choose paste. And I basically pasted all 17 slots from scene one into scene two. So that's pretty convenient. Now there's sometimes though where you wanna basically copy one slot from one preset grid into another slot of the same preset grid. If that's something you're looking to do, you could choose this uh, single mode button here, choose copy, I'm gonna push pin on, select another sl slot and hit paste. And I've basically copied whatever was in scene zero to scene uh, preset grid zero to uh, preset slot um, four. So that's another kind of cool feature there. Now kind of unknown or kind of hidden feature is you could actually copy what's in one slot and populate that to all other slots by basically turning single mode on here choosing copy. So I've basically copied this sequence up here and now I turn single mode off and I hit paste and I've populated this sequence into all slots here. Now that's a great way to get started making variations. So for example, now I could go to slot two, make a slight variation, slot three, make a different variation, slot four, make another variation, etc., etc. So it's a great way to quickly make variations based on a pattern um, or a preset that you like. Um, so that's pretty fun. Um, Next to uh, the pin button here, you'll see some uh, record, play, uh, and a length mode for automation. Now what this means is I could basically turn on automation, hit play, make sure the sequencer is playing by clicking the play bar at the top, and now I could drag around and record in my performance. Now you see it's basically playing back the length here, um, which is the length setting set uh, down below. So length 16 means 16 steps, so I could basically record a 16 step sequence in, in here. Now you see it's jumping around at a kind of, uh, it doesn't look like it's a 16th note um, step, it looks more like 8th notes. And if I look up here, you'll see the master sync setting for all the grids set to 8th notes right now. So if you do want 16th notes, for example, you could speed that up to 16th, and you see it kind of drags around at uh, 16th note speed. So that's kind of cool. You could kind of throttle or limit uh, the playback of the preset slot automation uh, by using this uh, sync option up here. So that's a kind of cool feature. Uh, this is global for all preset grids. Um, so 
uh, I could change each individual preset grid to have its own length. Now, this is really fun because, for example, I could ch uh, change the effect sequencer preset grid's length to 12 steps, let's say, and set the uh, track sequencer length to uh, four steps. So now every four steps, I'm getting a different automation pattern in here. Well, if I turn up my sync to 16th notes and if I want to record some automation for uh, the effect sequencer, I could turn on record and play, drag around and automate that. And that's automating uh, every 12 steps. So you'll start to get these kind of poly polyrhythms happening that way. And it's, it's pretty neat. So that's the length setting here in the automation uh, area for the track sequencer cell. So I'm going to turn that off and show you the root option for uh, MIDI in to slots and the MIDI in toggle button. Now what this toggle button does is it allows you to send MIDI from your MIDI keyboard into uh, the preset grid to control which slot is playing back using your keyboard. Now you need to make sure that this MIDI in plays mode down below in the footer area is set to slots. Otherwise, MIDI in is going to play your scenes, right? So that when you play your MIDI keyboard, it changes scenes. If I choose MIDI in play slots, then any of these kind of cell areas that have a MIDI in uh, button on will receive MIDI from your keyboard and it'll play back the slots based on your MIDI. So right now I'm banging on my MIDI keyboard and you could see it's automating um, the preset grid. Now you could turn on automation and actually record that in live on the fly, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's a kind of neat feature. And another hidden feature I wanted to show you guys that's kind of important um, is the ability to isolate a particular slot from being randomized um, so that, for example, let's say I have a really killer pattern right here and I just want to basically randomize all the other slots except for the current slot. I could control click the slot. It turns pink like this. And if I hit random now, I'm randomizing everything, all the other slots except for the current sequence, right? So that's a pretty cool way to get some crazy variations happening super quickly and then return back to your initial um, default uh, preset slot um, and it's remained unaffected. So that's a kind of cool tip. So control click to isolate any slot uh, from randomization. So that's kind of the basics about working with the preset grids. Uh, hopefully you've learned something and uh, have fun. Bye-bye.